We're asked to classify the following differential equations. Are they ordinary differential equations or partial differential equations? Is it an equation or a system? What is the order? Is it linear or nonlinear? And if it is linear, is it homogeneous or have constant coefficients? If it is an ordinary differential equation, is it autonomous? We'll begin by reviewing these classifications, but I do want to mention I do have a lesson video that goes over these classifications in more detail and provides multiple examples. At an ordinary differential equation or ODE or equations, ordinary differential equations or ODEs or equations where the derivatives are taken with respect to only one variable, partial differential equations or PDEs or equations that depend on partial derivatives of several variables. If we have more than one differential equation working together, we have a system of differential equations. The order is simply the order of the largest derivative that appears. An equation is linear if the dependent variable or variables and their derivatives appear linearly, that is, as first powers. They are not multiplied together and no other functions of the dependent variables appear. Which means we can say the equation is linear if it is a sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variables or some function of the independent variables multiplied by a dependent variable or its derivatives. An ordinary differential equation is linear if it fits the form shown below, otherwise the equation is called nonlinear. A linear equation may further be called homogeneous if all terms depend on the dependent variable. That is, no term is a function of the independent variables alone. Otherwise, the equation is called non-homogeneous or inhomogeneous. A linear ordinary differential equation is homogeneous if it fits the form shown below. If the coefficients of a linear equation are actually constant functions, then the equation is said to have constant coefficients and fits the form below where a sub zero through a sub n are all constants. And finally, an equation or system is called autonomous if the equation does not depend on the independent variable. And now let's look at our examples. So analyzing equation A to begin, the equation is a partial differential equation because of the partial derivatives of several variables. That is, there are several independent variables. In this equation, the independent variables are x and y. The dependent variable is v. Because we have a single differential equation, we have an equation, not a system. The equation has second order because the highest derivative is the second partial derivative. The equation is linear because the equation is the sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variables x and y or some function of x and y multiplied by the dependent variable v or its derivatives. So it doesn't quite fit the form shown here below because the because equation a has two independent variables and one dependent variable. However, the equation is non-homogeneous because the function b of x is equal to sine x, it's not equal to zero. And finally, the equation also has constant coefficients because the coefficients a sub zero through a sub n are all constants. In conclusion, for a, we have a PDE, we have an equation, not a system. The equation has second order, it's linear, it's non-homogeneous, and it has constant coefficients. And now analyzing equation B, we have an ordinary differential equation because the derivatives are taken with respect to only one variable, the variable t. We have a single equation, not a system. The equation has first order because the highest derivative is the first derivative. The equation is linear because it does fit the form shown below, meaning the equation is the sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variable t in this case, or some function of t multiplied by the dependent variable x or its derivatives. The equation is non-homogeneous because instead of b of x, we have b of t equals t squared plus t plus one. So because b of t doesn't equal zero, the equation is non-homogeneous. We also do not have constant coefficients because a sub zero through a sub n are not all constants. Notice the coefficient of x is cosine t. It's also not autonomous because the equation does depend on the independent variable t. In conclusion, for b, we have an ODE, we have an equation, not a system. The equation has first order, it's linear, it's non-homogeneous, it does not have constant coefficients, and it's not homogeneous. Moving along to c, we need to be careful. Notice we have the seventh derivative of big F with respect to x equals three times big F of x. So we can think of big F of x 
as the dependent variable y. We have an ordinary differential equation because the derivative is taken with respect to only one variable. Because we have a single differential equation, we have an equation, not a system. The equation has a seventh order because the highest derivative is the seventh derivative. The equation is linear because it fits the form shown below, once again meaning the equation is a sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variable or some function of the independent variable x multiplied by a dependent variable or its derivatives. Now it may not look like it, but the equation is homogeneous because there is no function b of x. Again, we need to be careful here because we can view big F of x as y and we can write the equation in the form shown here. So this would be the same as saying the seventh derivative of y with respect to x minus three y equals zero. So the equation is homogeneous. It also has constant coefficients because a sub zero through a sub n are constants and the equation is also autonomous because it does not depend on the independent variable x, again because big F of x is equal to y. In conclusion, for part C we have an ODE, we have an equation not a system, the equation has seventh order, it's linear, it's homogeneous, has constant coefficients, and it's autonomous. Moving along to D, we we're given y double prime plus eight times y prime equals one. Notice how here we don't know what the independent variable is because of the notation used. We do have an ordinary differential equation because the derivatives are taken with respect to one variable. We just don't know what that variable is. It could be x, t, or some other variable. We have a single equation, not a system. The equation is of second order because the highest derivative is the second derivative. The equation is linear because it fits the form shown below, again meaning the equation is the sum of terms where each term is some function of the independent variable or some function of the independent variable multiplied by a dependent variable or its derivatives. The equation is non-homogeneous because b of x is equal to one, not zero. The equation does have constant coefficients because a sub zero through a sub n are all constants. And the equation is also autonomous because the equation does not depend on the independent variable. In conclusion, for D, we have an ODE, we have an equation, not a system. It has second order, it's linear, non-homogeneous, constant coefficient, and autonomous. And now moving along to E, E is the only problem in which we have more than one differential equation, and therefore we have a system. However, the equations are ordinary differential equations because the derivatives are taken with respect to only one variable. Based upon the notation used, the derivatives are with respect to t. Because we have two equations, we have a system. The system is of second order because the highest derivative is the second derivative. The system is nonlinear because the dependent variables x and y are multiplied together in the second equation. Recall an equation is linear if the dependent variable of variables and their derivatives appear linearly, that is only as first powers, they are not multiplied together and no other functions of the dependent variables appear. In conclusion, for E, we have an ODE, we have a system, the system is of second order and the system is nonlinear. And for our last example, we have a partial differential equation because of the partial derivatives of several variables, the variables s and t. We have a single equation, not a system. The equation is of second order because the highest derivative is the second partial derivative. The equation is not linear because the dependent variable u is squared. In conclusion, we have a PDE, we have an equation, not a system, it's of second order, and it's nonlinear. I hope you found this helpful.